Hey everybody, uh, back with another video. I got the Shelly 1 because I wanted to trigger some stuff. We'll call it a light. Um, I wanted to trigger something with a dry uh, output and did a little bit of research, found these guys. They weren't too pricey and I thought I would give it a try. So um, I'm a bit of a pack rat and I've got some power supplies. I've got one that I got rigged up just for testing, like uh, I've got one for 12 volts and one for 24 volts. So input on this uh, old power supply, anywhere between 100 to 240 AC. And then the output is 24 volts DC at half an amp. So this works out pretty good. I've got this um, plugged into the Shelly 1. And what I'm doing is I am switching the positive leg. So that's what this light switch is. I know it's pretty ghetto and jerry-rigged, but that's what I do. So with the Shelly 1s, the, um, the documentation is printed really small and took a little bit of time to figure out where to land my stuff. Um, <clears throat> So if you look real close, uh, let me see if I could zoom in on this shit. Uh, where are we? There. If you're doing AC L for your uh, line and then N for your neutral. If you're doing DC, I wish they would have just made these different. Your positive leg of your DC is going to land on N, and your negative leg is gonna land on L. This is your switch leg and this is basically your contact right there. Um, so a couple things I had a little bit of a hard time let me zoom back out a little bit uh, I had a little bit of a hard time getting into these things you know um, they were kind of a pain in the ass. I'm gonna switch this off Okay, so I just kind of made some sharpie marks of where the little tabs are around. There's there's four little tabs that you gotta kind of. It's gonna be hard to do with one hand. You gotta kind of pry this thing out a little bit, and I'm doing it from the top side, and. What I do is I put a little bit of pressure. I, I notice that one side goes in a little bit easier than the other side. Let me get my, I'm gonna put the phone down. So I kind of wedge my screwdriver in between here very gently and just kind of encourage it to open up. So it was not an easy feat. And if you look on the top, there's these four parts right here. Where, where I'm pushing in on it in order to get it to unhook from that part. So the other thing that's in the documentation um, that you want to pay attention to is whether you're using 12 or 24 volts. So right here, this little jumper, let me see if I can zoom in on this guy. This little jumper right here, it's got three three little uh, fingers I guess this middle one a left one and a right one if you're doing 24 volts it's going to be on the two fingers that are closer to this black thing if you're doing 12 volts it's going to be on these two fingers that are further away and it you know I encourage you to just verify that in the documentation so this thing just kind of slides right off and slides right on depending on what type of DC voltage you're using if you're going DC. So I had a little bit of trouble um, I had a little bit of trouble connecting mine and <clears throat> I had to do a factory reset a couple times because um, I was having a heck of a time and doing a factory reset is just you can either do it um, 
this is very similar to stuff that I do in, in my profession, so I'm comfortable doing this. Um, you just jumpering between the, I don't know what they call it, SW and the L. Let me turn the power on. In order to factory reset, you turn it off, you turn it on, and then you jumper this five times. So you'll hear the relay switch like that. I don't know, let me see if I can get a little closer. You do that five times, and on the fifth time, you'll actually hear it go, doo -doo -doo, you know. And that's a factory reset. Um, <clears throat> Shelly puts out a great little video on how to, how to connect to these things. Um, it's very well done. I recommend watching that one. Uh, initially, the, the Shelly device will uh, put out its own uh, access point. And then you change your, you look for that access point on your phone's Wi-Fi, and then you connect to it, and then basically from that interface, you would enter your Wi-Fi information, and, um, you know, after you've installed the app, you know, then you connect to it, uh, add the device. So I had a heck of a time adding the device. What I ended up having to do was um, I had to search for this, device by IP. So I went into my router, I looked at, you know, what devices were new from there. Um, and then I also, I got my network semi locked down. Uh, so I had to make sure that this device could see other devices. Um, so I had to change that setting in my network settings. I had to look for it by IP. And then when I was in the app, um, I had to search for the device by IP because I don't know why my phone would not find the device at all. Um, so once it was added, um, I updated the firmware. I highly recommend it all the time. Uh, update your firmware. Make sure it's the latest and greatest. Um, you know, some security professionals recommend Whenever you're, you're adding IoT stuff to your home network, make sure you add it to the guest network. Make sure you have your guest network uh, separated from your normal network. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I did with this device. And let's see on my meter here, checking for continuity. Um, oh God, I so wish sometimes I had four hands. Um, checking for continuity. I'm turning the app. Oh, there, there's continuity. Um, this is basically a dry closure on O and I, or one and zero, depending on how you want to read those. I can trigger these. Uh, from my phone, whether I'm on the network or off of the network, I had to go in and enable the cloud um, uh, interface, uh, the cloud connection on these. And then I also locked it down with a password. Recommend doing that. Um, I can access these on the network or off of the network. And then I also installed the app on my wife's phone. And uh, we could be on... Uh, the app at the same time and when whenever whenever either of us turn it on or off uh, it is uh, responsive and showing that the uh, state of the device on each other's phone doesn't matter who's turning it on or off um, so that's my basic experience with the Shelly one so far um, I probably will do a follow-up video um, just to let you guys know how they've worked for me so far, it seems pretty good other than trying to connect to the damn thing. Uh, that was such a pain. Um, like I, like I mentioned earlier, I had to search for the, uh, Shelly device by IP address and I had to go into my router to find that IP information. So, <clears throat> um, thanks for watching any questions or comments, please hit me up below and have a good one.